Wednesday, August 23, 2023. First reading. Judges 9 verses 6 to 15. All the citizens of Shechem and all Beth Milo came together and proceeded to make Abimelech king by the terebinth at the memorial pillar in Shechem. When this was reported to him, Jotham went to the top of Mount Gerizim and, standing there, cried out to them in a loud voice, Hear me, citizens of Shechem, that God may then hear you. Once the trees went to anoint a king over themselves. So they said to the olive tree, Reign over us. But the olive tree answered them, Must I give up my rich oil? Whereby men and gods are honored. And go to wave over the trees. Then the tree said to the fig tree, Come, you reign over us. But the fig tree answered them, Must I give up my sweetness and my good fruit? And go to wave over the trees. Then the tree said to the vine, Come you, and reign over us. But the vine answered them, Must I give up my wine that cheers gods and men? And go to wave over the trees. Then all the trees said to the buckthorn, Come, you reign over us. But the buckthorn replied to the trees, If you wish to anoint me king over you in good faith, come and take refuge in my shadow. Otherwise, let fire come from the buckthorn and devour the cedars of Lebanon. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. O Lord, in your strength the king is glad. In your victory how greatly he rejoices. You have granted him his heart's desire. You refused not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. For you welcomed him with goodly blessings. You placed on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked life of you, you gave him. Length of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory. Majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. You made him a blessing forever. You gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength the king is glad. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner. Who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage. He sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock. He saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, You two go into my vineyard. And I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon. And around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock. He found others standing around, and said to them. Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You two go into my vineyard. When it was evening the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more. But each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it they grumbled against the landowner, saying, 
These last ones worked only one hour. And you have made them equal to us. Who bore the day's burden and the heat? He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord Praise you Lord Jesus Christ Today's Reflection Overcoming Envy The parable of the landowner's vineyard illustrates the concept of envy, a form of sorrow that arises when we envy others for their success or blessings. This envy can be caused by our own greed and comparison to others, leading to jealousy and envy. The cure for envy is wholehearted generosity, not just with our money but also with our affections and our ability to rejoice in the blessings that others receive. Jealousy can quickly turn into envy, which is a sorrow over the blessings another has that we do not have. When we notice this form of unholy sorrow within us, it means that we lack selfless generosity toward others. If we see God blessing another in spiritual riches, we should try to generously rejoice in that and offer praise and thanks to God for His goodness. We must not dwell on ourselves and dismiss every temptation to compare. In many ways, everyone is represented by those who worked only one hour and received the full daily wage. The grace of salvation is the only reason we can receive the gift of eternal salvation and other graces given to us by God. Therefore, the goodness and generosity of God must be our constant focus, and we must rejoice in that generosity when it is given to us and when it is also given to others. Reflect on any tendency towards envy and pray that God will grant you the gift of being able to be generous in your rejoicing in those blessings. Every blessing given by God must be the cause of our joy, no matter if those blessings are bestowed upon us or others.